Hello, legends. Welcome. Amy and I are here today, and we are so excited to walk you through our amazing system that, if you follow, can lead you to incredible success, but also duplication. And duplication in our business is absolutely everything. So I just want to say congratulations for being here today, for showing up, for being willing to learn. That's the first step and the most important step, if you ask me. You are in that top percentile of showing up and, you know, stepping into that future version of yourself. So we're going to walk through our system. But firstly, we're going to introduce ourselves. So my name is Emma Savage. Now, I have been doing this uh, network marketing gig for about five years. Now, I was not looking for this. I was not, I didn't set out to find a business. I, however, fell into the profession. Now, at the time, I was working in retail management. So I have a background in beauty therapy. I loved it. It was a, it was great, but the hours were terrible and the pay was even worse. I then went into admin. Uh, the pay was better, but the, but the actual work itself was not. I hated it. It was boring. It was not for me. And so then I went into retail management. I managed a retail store that was my cousin's. And that was way funner. Um, but again, it didn't light me up. I didn't have the flexibility that I wanted that I so desperately chased. And I didn't have the income either. Now, I fell into this profession. And while I didn't understand it at the, at the start, I was curious. Guys, curiosity has set me free like it has. So stay curious always. And so what I learned about this incredible profession is that it, it allows everyday people like myself with no degree, like, you know, that's not me. I'm not that professional corporate person, but it allows everyday people like me to earn bloody good money and feel really good while I do it and step into the best version of me. And that's the best part about what we do, guys, is when you do it and you commit to it, the personal growth that you go through, the person that you become, the skills, the leadership, like you can't beat that. It's so cool. And so now, five years later, and it's been one hell of a ride, guys. And I just have to say, like embrace the mess because when you do this properly, you're going to suck at stuff. You're going to probably make a bit of a dick of yourself. That's okay. Like that's all part of it. That's part of the journey and the growth. So keep going with it. But now five years later, we travel full time. My husband retired from his seven, it was nearly 17 year corporate job, which sucked his soul. And he was so stressed. And we get to travel at the moment. We live in a caravan traveling Australia. We are in the most amazing place at the moment. It's called Airlie Beach. Um, I don't know if you guys have ever heard of that. Google it. It's so beautiful. And so we wouldn't have any of this if I didn't commit to being bad enough at this for long enough to get good at it. And one thing that I absolutely love about Life Vantage is the simple system. When I first seen this and I was looking at it, my first thought was my nan can do this. Do you know what, guys? That's the key to success in network marketing. A simple system that anyone can do. That means that anyone will be able to build this and anyone can have success. This system allows people to do that. I'm really excited to share with you guys a bit about how we do it. Um, I am also, yeah, I'm a dog dog mom. <laughs> That's my, my favorite role about what I do. I also love empowering women to have their own financial independence because I believe that it is so important, especially today. So hold on tight. I can't wait to share what we've learned um, with you guys over the this period of, you know, five years for me. And so I'm going to hand it over to Ames and she's going to introduce herself. Hey, hey, thank you. Em, thank you so much. I am so excited to be here with you guys today all across the globe, whether you're there, you know, in person or you're on a virtual event, we want to welcome you. And, and like Em said, congratulate you guys for being here. We've been super privileged to be able to share what we love with you guys and the simplicity of the system that we are using, which has allowed us that growth that happened, you know, quite quickly. Uh, but also it's going to allow us to grow really big. And we want to share that with you guys. So I'm Amy, like I said, I'm a mum. 
Uh, first and foremost, I'm a mom and a partner, and I'm also a stepmom. It's one of my biggest roles is being a mom and a stepmom, and it's also one of my biggest passions because you know, I want to be able to help other kids as much as I can and couples and families growing is what is something that I love. Uh, I love being a couple in business and there's not many people out there who do that together. And I'm fortunate enough to work with Emma and Brad and Marty and Nathan, many other couples in this business where we can bring that yin and that yang and the male and the female energy. And I think that's really, really important. I am a no frills, no fuss kind of a woman. You won't see me loving drama and I am all about creating something super simple for you guys to be able to use. Uh, I come from a really professional background. Uh, I'm an exercise physiologist, but my background is in health. I've worked in nutrition for many, many, many years and also lectured in physiology. So health is my jam and life manage was the perfect fit for us to be able to, you know, grow and also share what we love. I I love that Life Vantage has awesome compassion. I love that they're connected and I love the character of this company and that has definitely allowed us the integrity to grow. So uh, that's me in a nutshell. I'm going to pass you back over to Em and she's going to share with you our success system. Yes. And I just have to jump in there. Do you know what I love so much about this too is Ames is a health professional. Like she is the, like, she's so knowledgeable. This health is her jam. I'm not. So, and we've still been able to create the same success. And that's the cool thing about what we do is that you just have to have a passion for learning, helping people and being able to help people within your team. And you can be so successful at this. And like, that's so, that's just so exciting for me. Okay. So the three steps to success, I T T this three little letters has completely transformed how we do business and also allowed a little bit more time to do the things that we love. And that is helping people. So I T T invite tool and tag, and then team and third party. Now, Every single step is as important as the other. You can't skip one. You need to do all three. And the reason for that is, as I said in the beginning, it's duplicatable. And that is what we need in a network marketing business. We need it to duplicate. Absolutely. And we need every single person like Em's grandma to be able to do this. And so all of you have a phone, right? All of you have a phone or a computer and all of you know how to communicate. And that is all this is about. And so we teach this to our entire team, which means we are all on the same pathway. So inviting, like Em said, into a tool and then into your team. It is that simple. You can call it whatever you like. We call it ITT just so that, you know, it's called ITT, your face off in our team. And it's as simple as, uh, one of our other team members said it, one, two, three, A, B, C. You can get that song into your head if you want. And we're going to run you through those steps now. So, Em, what is invite? Okay, so inviting is basically asking people to have a look at what we have. And so that can mean the product, that can mean the business. I always say don't cut the vision in half. You don't know who might be so desperate for an extra stream of income, especially at the moment. Like it's never been more important with everything going on in the world to have that income that we can control and nobody can take from us. So I always recommend, you know, offer them both, but it's just basically inviting them to have a look. And one of my top lessons here and this is from my own personal experience. When I started, I had this limiting belief that I wasn't smart enough to be a successful businesswoman. So I thought that I had to be a certain way. And I struggled at times because I went weird in how I was talking about it. Now, since I've realized I've done the personal development, we don't have to be anybody else in this business. The more authentic you are, the better you do. And so for me, I'm not that person. I'm the fun, carefree, whatever, like high energy, you know, kind of crazy. When I 
went back to that and, you know, I wasn't being weird when I was inviting. I had so much more success. So just be you and speak your language. How do you speak? What's the way that you, how would you invite somebody to come out for lunch? It's the same sort of thing. So that's my number one thing that I just have to share is you don't have to be anyone else, guys. You just have to be you. And so this, the whole point of an invite, again, is inviting people to have a look at your product or your business. So what we do is we actually um, have the conversation and we invite them to a Facebook group. So we have a Facebook group that we utilize a lot. It's simple. It works. And they, it creates social proof as well because it's not just us giving information. They can go and have a look from people sharing information from the team, our customers. And so that's a really good one. So we'll, like, for example, let me just say, hey, Ames, I know you're into health. I know it's your passion. I would love to work with you because I know you're hardworking. I know that you're a bit of a gangster. This is the language that I use, guys. You're a bit of a gangster and I know that you have a blended family. You've got like a million children. I think you'd be fantastic at this. If I sent you a short video on a Facebook group, would you check it out and have a listen? That's as simple as I keep it. So we invite to the Facebook group. So if you have a face, I don't have my phone. I'm meant to have my phone. But if you go to the group, there's a little um, at the top of a group, there's an invite button click invite. You can scroll through your friends, invite them that way. Uh, they get they get a notification on their end. The other way is that I'll always after that send them a message and say, hey, I've just invited you. And then I'll drop the link to the group in the message as well. So that if they miss the notification on Facebook, they can go from the messenger. I love That's that. A hot, a hot tip. She's got a hot tip. And, you know, the best thing about this is she's so right. Like we, Em and I are so different. Like I am not high energy. That's just not me. It's not authentic to who, who I am. But I love that about her and I love that we can both create success and we're both on the same page that we're growing teams that have both of those energies in it. And it's really important to understand, guys, is that is that authenticity is absolutely key and so are your relationships. And that is why when you invite, you will be able to do it, you know, and you like you'll just do it and you won't even think it's awkward or weird. Like we don't actually do that. We don't do that. We just go. And so the way that I would say to Emma to invite her is like, Hey, Em, you know, I know that we've been speaking a little bit about you creating some extra income online. I thought you might love to check out what we do. Do you want me to add you into our Facebook group? And that way you can have a browse and I can just check in in a couple of days. So see how we're like so different. I'm really short, sharp and pretty much to the point. And Em's really fun and loud and like she uses language that I don't use. And that's totally fine. Okay. It is totally fine. So I want you guys to think about the invite, but like, let's pre-invite. Think about the pre-invite first. You have to fill your pipeline with your authenticity. And that generally comes from social media because at the moment that is how we're building across the world, right? So filling your pipeline so that you can get to the point of inviting somebody and you know, then you know, you know, you're like, okay, cool. You're going to jump into this group and have a browse and then we're going to reconnect. Okay. So there's a couple of uh, examples coming up for you now. If you want to screenshot them, go ahead. But this is some things that we would say, or some of our team members would say, hey, Emma, I've been thinking about you recently because of, you know, poor sleep or extra income or whatever it is that you're going to relate to this person. I've added you to a Facebook group where others who I feel you could relate to are sharing their results. I will drop the link below in case you missed the notification. So screenshot that if you need it. And this is another one, you know, like it's all about creating that funnel and letting somebody know that you have invited them or you are going to invite them to a group and then creating that follow up as you do it. Emma, what do you do in terms of that follow-up? And so follow-up is just checking in. It's just keeping that conversation going. And so it, it depends on 
like what the tool is that I'm sharing with them. For example, let's just pretend that I'm talking to somebody about the business opportunity and I've made the intention that I'm going to tag them in a video. Okay. So from there, I'd say in that initial conversation, I would preempt the follow up. When have you got time to watch the 15 minute video? And they might say tomorrow, fabulous. Okay. I'm going to check in tomorrow night. So the following night, I'll do my check in. Hey, Ames, how'd you go with the video? What did you like best? Now, this is something that I've learned from Eric Worry, and it also was very uncomfortable for me to say when I first started because it's not in Australians are funny. We're a funny bunch. We just like, we're quite skeptical. We, the way we speak is very slang. And what did you like best was so inauthentic to me. It didn't feel right. And it's just because normally I'd say, How'd you go? So I had to train myself to say, what did you like best? I know you've got lots of lots of questions. So in that follow-up, and it's just checking in, and if you can pre-set it up, not only are they expecting it, but they have a higher chance of actually watching it because they know that you are going to check in. It's almost like accountability. Yeah, it, that so is. And I was a bit the same. I remember when I first got started in network marketing, it's been seven years, and uh, someone said to me, you know, you need to need to follow up with them. And I'm like, oh, well, I don't really want to take their money. Like I was so closed minded to creating the invitation to then linking them in with a, with a, like a tool, let alone actually asking them if they liked something. And I, w- I was like, oh, I learned this when I did the personal development that I've actually grown because I was just thinking about myself. At that point, I wasn't thinking about how this could help somebody else and how it could change their life. And, you know, seven years down the track, we are, like Emma said, a blended family. There's eight of us. It is not cheap to feed eight people per week. And so, you know, we we do this, Michael and I do this together full time at home, uh, you know, in our country environment. So I want to encourage you guys to get out of your comfort zone here. We say it all the time, but invite everybody because you know that it can help them whether it's with their health or with their financial situation or better yet with a kick-ass community absolutely and at the moment people are missing that connection the connect and connect human connection it's part of what we need to actually thrive as a species and so people are desperately missing that we have a lot of people who just love being around the community and that's awesome i love that we've created a space where people feel comfortable to do that it's awesome and as aim said like one of the big lessons that i've learned um in network marketing is don't prejudge because there's so many people who I guarantee look like they've got their shit together on the outside, but inside are struggling behind closed doors financially. They've got health issues. Like, for example, I have a woman in my team who is incredible. Like, she's just a businesswoman. She is like amazing. And from the outside, people would be like, oh, nah, she's sorted. Whereas, Little did I know, like, and after having conversations with her, she's like, nah, like, it's, I work so much. Like, she puts in so much. She has no time. And the thing that she was missing in her life is network marketing. So often we get these, like, you know, preconceived ideas of people and what they need through our own lenses and our own goggles. And if we can take that away, don't prejudge, offer it to everyone because you just don't know who might be so, so like dying inside for what we have to offer. So don't prejudge is a big one. Yeah, I absolutely agree. I did that all the time. So I just wouldn't invite anybody because I got so like stuck in, oh, no, they don't need it and they don't want it. But once I learned that personal production and personal growth is actually going to build the backbone of our business, then I started and the growth took off. So after invite and after you've used some of those examples, then we go into the tool. Okay, so you've invited them to something. What is it that you've invited them to? And your team, your sponsor, your mentor, someone will have created something, a video or a Facebook group or whatever it is for you guys to uh, invite them to. Okay, so what we do is once uh, our contact or person or friend or family member or whatever you want to say 
accepts our invitation into the group, then we tag them in a relevant post. So why did we invite them? Was it for an income purposes? Was it for a product reason? And then we tag them in a couple of posts relevant to them. Now, I like to tag with a little message. Hey, Emma, I've just tagged you in this video. It is all about what we do and why. And I know that you're going to love it. Hey, Emma, I know that you uh, want to improve your sleep. This video, uh, this post talks about sleep and sleep improvements. Okay. And what about you? What do you do? Yeah, so I do the same. So, um, and like, let's just say I'm talking to them about product and I've invited them to our group for product. I would ask a few questions first to kind of get a bit of a gauge on where they are at and what they're struggling with. Um, and so, like, if we can get really good at asking the right questions, getting to know them, then we know what they need from us and whether we even have something that can help them with their problems. So after that, I would tag them in usually three-ish posts that are specific to them. So if they're like, do you know what? My energy and brain fog is like killing me. I'm just, I'm not getting anywhere. They're, that's what they're struggling with. So I would target them to, you know, that kind of, oh, the mental clarity, that's an amazing thing. Or they just feel better because they've got some energy. That's what I would tag them in. If it's business, again, it would be business related. So just talking about the opportunity, um, that side of things. So tailoring it to the person that we're speaking about is really important, that we're speaking to, sorry, is really, really important because it shows you actually care. And at the end of the day, people don't care what you know. They know that you care. No, wait. They don't care that what you know. They know care what you that you care. <laughs> what? And it's just important that you just do it. Like actually pull your pants on, your big girl knickers on and do it. Like just tag mm -hmm. someone. It's not, it's not that hard really. No. Like you're helping them and you know that this – product has helped somebody else in your team or your family or your friendship group and so just tag and that's what we do is we simply just tag in a in a post or a video and that gets us through our invite and then our tool or tag now the biggest thing that we want to reiterate to you guys today is team now, it is the third T in our system, ITT, and it's all about third-party validation. You may have heard it as a three-way call or a three-way video chat, but it's all about connecting your person with somebody in our team that relates to them and why. And this is definitely one of the reasons that we've had such great success is because we utilize our team all the time. I still use three-way calls or third-party validation, however you want to use, say it. And I still use it and I recommend it for my team every single day. What about you, Em? Yeah, absolutely. And so there's been periods where I haven't used it um, and I'm no butter, but I just fall into habits. I'm like, oh, it's just, I'll just quickly say. And what we do, we're teaching people, guys, from that first contact, we are teaching people what to do. And so what you'll find is the people who I've used third party with, that's normal to them. The people that I haven't, they haven't, they don't duplicate and they don't have success as quick. So us not doing it is doing our team a disservice. And so I know from experience, if any time my business has exploded, it's when we're following the simple system and we're using ITT. Yeah. Third T is, I believe, the most important. Um, they're all important, but this is the one that, you know, is easier, like it's easier to not do ourselves, but it's so, so important. And I use it for everyone now. Like every single person that I bring in, um, I put them in third party. Yeah, me too. And not necessarily for every single customer, but if I'm talking about collecting a decision for a business builder or someone who's open to extra income online, then I definitely put into a third party because Emma explained it so well, is that we're teaching them from the beginning. So we want to make sure that this system that we're using is going to be passed on down the line, uh, which you know creates flexibility and it also creates freedom. So the way that I like to call it is collecting a decision. So one of the things that I hear so often is, oh, I got this person or I got a new customer and it just doesn't sit well with me and I prefer to say I'm going to help you 
find a new person or collect a decision. So we like to ask some questions in a three in a chat first. Okay. What did you like best? Which is something that Emma's already spoken to you about today. Could you relate to any of the posts? Are you open to looking at getting started? And so what this three-way call or chat does is it links them in and it actually answers the questions for you. So what it, what is it all about? It's linking you in with another team member. It could be your upline. It could be your downline. It could be your sideline. It actually doesn't need to be your sponsor. Uh, but you, what I like to do is just reach out and ask that person because it's all about relatability. Okay. So why do we do it is because they are trusting you. You are the expert in the situation. And so you're the one who needs to take the lead. Now, Emma and I use each other in our three-way calls. We often will, you know, oh, you relate to this person. Do you mind jumping in uh, a chat to help me collect the decision for this person? So, you know, people really are silently begging to be led. What about you, Em? Yeah, absolutely. And so um, we work cross line, like we are a community, we are a team, we like, you know, we all work really well to that together. That's a very big part of our culture um, and really important to us. And it's like we all go together and that's what I love so much about this. And, you know, everyone does it a little bit differently and that's okay as well. So I just quickly, so what I do is I actually use messenger chat. So if I was just, let's say Amy was using me as third party, she'd message me first. She'd then chuck me in a chat with her uh, prospect, her potential customer and introduce in there. And then I actually start the combo in there, set up a time and then I video call in there. So that's how I do it. I love video calls. I just find it simple on Messenger. Um, we Because we do build a lot on Facebook, I find that that works for us. But whatever your jam is, is okay. Some people use phone calls. I know Ames tends to use, like you do phone calls a little bit with some of your crew. Um, some people do Zoom. That's all okay. Like that stuff doesn't matter. But it's the fact that you're actually getting in there and doing them. So yeah. one of the, um, sorry, one of the really like imp important things to mention is how you edify the person that you're putting them in the chat with is so important. It is so, so important because if they don't know, like if they, if you just chuck them in a chat with someone and they have no context as to why this person's awesome, they're going to be like, what's just happened? Why am I in here? They're going to be confused. So setting that up is is really, really important. Um, and going through the ITT is also really important. So my team's not allowed to put me in, in a chat unless they have had enough, the person that they're talking to has had enough information. So if they haven't had enough information, it's going to make our job really, really hard. And if I find if they've had enough information, they're ready for the third party and it's very rare that they don't join. Yeah, I 100% agree. Sorry, Em. I 100% no. agree with you is this is super important and it's really a massive part of the success of, you know, your team member feeling successful, your contact having a really positive experience and then your person who you know who's added you into that chat feeling good about it as well and i often get a bit of an objection with my team around well how do i add them in to a chat when is the right time to add them into a chat if you're asking that question it's probably not the right time in my opinion because they haven't been through this they haven't done the invite or been through the tool correctly. And if, and Emma is a hundred percent correct in, and what I feel is if they haven't been through the invite or watched a tool or read a tool or are interested in any way, then it's just a lot, a much longer process. It takes the person doing the third party a really long time. And they've actually got, then got to go do your job. They've got to go ask the questions that you could do yourself. So I want you to make sure that you have been or your person has been through the invite and the tool 
And then you ask your upline for assistance. So I would say, hey, M, or whoever you're using for, uh, for the third party, hey, Emma, uh, you know, I've got someone who I'd love you to chat to. Would I be able to pop you in a three-way chat so that you can help collect a decision? And she might say to me, oh, yeah, cool, no dramas, Ames. I'm really busy this afternoon. Can it wait till tomorrow? And I'm like, yeah, no worries. And so we just want to set that up because you don't want to start the chat and then never get back to them for a couple of days because how you do one thing is how you do everything. And so for yeah. me, I like to do what I say I'm going to do. Yeah. And on top of that too, so um, when I'm the third party, I like to know as much information as I can about the person. So um, like let's just say Aim said, can I use you for the third party? I'd be like, absolutely. This is when I'm available. Tell me tell me a bit about them. They might be a single mom who loves health but doesn't have the time to look after herself. She desperately needs some extra income. Like I like I need to know a little bit about that person because it just means that I can understand their situation. I know where they're at. I can know what they need and what their problems are. Yeah, 100%. And I love that because see how Emma is making it all about them. It's got nothing to do with her. It's making her job simple but it's all about them, okay? So the, I believe that edification is one of the biggest, sorry, most important parts of the team because why, why would someone want to listen to me? Why would someone want to listen to Emma? They actually have no idea who they are. So it's a really uplifting, it should be a really positive experience. And here's some examples that we use uh, on edification. So take some screenshots of this because it's really important to go through this process when you are edifying someone. So I'm just going to read this one out for you. So this is about Emma, okay? And Emma's been connected with somebody else. Hey, ladies, I'm excited for you guys to meet Alyssa. Uh, meet. Alyssa, meet Emma. Emma, meet Alyssa. Alyssa clicked on my poll a month or so ago and has been looking around the information on our group. She is keen to learn some more. She currently works in health and disability and did New Serity, another company, way back in the day. Alyssa, meet Emma. She is doing amazing things and is one of the co-founders of our brand. Her team is predominantly in Victoria and is helping so many women earn extra income and become the best version of themselves. Alyssa, you can ask Emma anything. She's incredible and will be able to help you know the best way to get started and answer all your questions. Now, can you guys see that Instantly, Emma already knows a little bit about Alyssa and what she's ready for. And then she can share her story. The process becomes simple and streamlined. Yeah. And another little hack that I do as well. So I pre-edify. So let's just say I have a prospect and I'm talking to them in a chat. I pre-edify before I go into the chat as well as edify in the chat. So I will say, for example, let's just pretend that I'm talking to someone and I'm using Ames as my third party. I will say to this person, let's just say it's Alyssa, Alyssa, I would like, and she'll ask a question like, so how do I actually, what do I do after I join? Whatever. And I'd say, do you know what, Alyssa, that is such a brilliant question. I would love for you to list, for you to meet Amy. Amy is a friend of mine. She's a mentor. She's had incredible success in this business. She's not only changed her own life, but the trajectory of her family's as well. She's been in it for seven years. She earns gangster cash. That's just my language. I think that you will really love her and relate to her. I'm going to link you in. So that's how I actually so pre-edify. And then when I put them in the chat, I'd go through and, and do that process that you see on the screen here again as well just to really drum into them this is the right person for you to talk to you should listen to them because they're bloody awesome yeah i do the same i think it you know what what we're trying to teach you guys tonight is that this is a really simple process if it's done correctly and we teach our team the exact same thing. So all of us leaders teach our team the exact same thing. And we just want to make sure that we're setting up you for success. That's all it is. And we want to make sure that we're helping our team. So I, you know, hope that you guys got massive amount of value out of this. This is our simple, simple system. It's called ITT. We all use it. We, uh, Emma would say gangster growth from it. You know, I say that we've consult, have a, a, like a, connected you know community and i hope you guys have the best the best global conference we cannot wait to meet you all in person and what's something that you want to say 
Oh, have fun, guys. Enjoy the night if you're there. Like, I'm so jealous. I can't wait to actually travel and be able to catch up in person. But enjoy it um, and get in there. Like, this business is incredible. The people that you meet, the growth that you have, the fun along the way, it's so worth it. So get outside your comfort zone, um, get around the community and go change your bloody life. <laughs> have a best day. See you guys.